Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my Arsenal career mode on FIFA 14. As you can see we are kicking off the BPL in this series against Aston Villa um, because as you know the fixtures in the game are exactly the same as the real life fixtures which is pretty cool. I guess we're going to get to see how Arsenal maybe could do. I, I don't know. I, I mean whenever I've played career mode it's, it's not really spot on when you see the Premier League table at the end of the season but who knows we'll see how we get on in this season um, and of course we kick off in horrible weather pouring down with rain but actually I thought it was a good way to kick off the season because as you know in the last game I despised the rain um, not because you know just the way it affects the ball but it actually made the pitch look yellow on my screen I don't know what it was and uh, it didn't just it, it wasn't I wasn't comfortable playing in it, it just didn't it didn't feel right but you're going to see in a moment here, and we've got to watch out for Gabby. Oh my god, the pacey mofo. He's going to be running at my defence. And with uh, Koscielny there, I think we'll be okay. But um, let's see if the pitch is affected by the rain too much in terms of colour. And there you go. They have fixed it. Well done, EA. Well done. They've actually fixed the weather. There are still bugs where I get like some replays and the sky is completely pitch black. And so is the stadium, which is a little bit weird. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Giroud has kicked off his own season with an absolute beauty of a goal. Did you see that? This guy is a giant. He's what, six foot three, six foot four? Look how good he is at doing a bicycle kick. Look at that. <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. It's not really a bicycle kick. It's, you know, more of a scissor maybe. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. What a beautiful goal to kick off the season. And I tell you what, guys, Giroud is stunning in this game. He really is. Him and Yilmaz are going to have some competition, that's for sure. And there's Giroud again, linking up with Oxlade Chamberlain, who is, of course, playing because Walcott is out injured for six weeks. So unlucky there, but we're already a week in or two now. So he'll be back soon. But that was a really good way to start the season, eh? The first half ends 1 0. And uh, Giroud is on fire already, just like in real life. But anyway, it was time to bring on some substitutions. Yilmaz, Insigne and Podolski all coming on. And Gibbs, what a player he is so far. I've already tweeted out Gibbs is amazing in this. And uh, Barak has a shot there. Yilmaz is his second name, but he has Barak on his shirt. But Gibbs continues that run. Does a stupid celebration after a really nice finish with his weak foot, actually. I was surprised it went in. I was expecting him to sky it. And there's a, a bit of a glitch there with the celebrations. I think there was meant to be another player uh, around his shoulders there. But you'll see this is a very shit shot from Yilmaz. I'm still getting used to the new shooting in this game. And uh, luckily Gibbs was on hand and did continue that run. Because had he not, we would not be 2-0 up right now. And I'd rather be 2-0 up than 3-1 down at this point like we were in real life. And then Ramsey has an amazing shot there, which the keeper parries. It comes back out, and we cross it in, and Barak Yilmaz is there to finish up. So, like I said, there's going to be some real, real big competition between Giroud and Yilmaz. I can't really think of a formation to get both of them in, because Arsenal have so many good midfielders. I only want one striker. So, I think right now, Yilmaz is looking good, but Giroud, there's something about Giroud in this game so far that I really like. And uh, he contributed to that 3-0 win, as, as well as Yilmaz, obviously. But I think I'll, I'll kick off most games with Giroud and then bring on Yilmaz as a substitute. But let me know in the comments below. Leave loads of comments, guys. Tell me what you want me to do with this series. Which players you want me to play and all of that stuff. But anyway, we've got a transfer offer for Bakary Sanya. But first, we're going to go ahead and do the press conference before the game against Fulham just coming up now. Um, of course, which we won 1-0 in real life. It was 1-0, wasn't it? It was a Giroud goal. Um, it was a quite a tough one towards the end of the half, if, second half, if I remember well. Um, so we've gone ahead and praised Arsenal after that 3-0 win. And uh, I'm not going to reject all offers and disallow future offers on Bakary Sanya because he is 30. But for now, I need him for this season. We've only got Jenkinson for backup. So um, I'll be keeping hold of him now and just rejecting that offer. And we'll see what happens in the future. But I think if I am going to bring in a right back at some point, it will be next season. Or maybe even in January, maybe if something pops up and he's nice and cheap. Um, we'll find out soon enough. But here, I wanted to put this bit in. Insigne is playing his first game, his debut. And, uh, well, starting his debut, I want to say. And he took on Hangeland, no problem there. So that's looking good for me. Great defending there from Sanya. And Chesney puts it out to Chamberlain. Now watch this beautiful run from Ozil. Overlaps the defence there. I think it's actually Ramsey, sorry. It's Ramsey. Ozil's actually going to score a goal here. I've just given it away. Look at this lovely pass inside here. And it's a very lucky goal, though. Hangeland tries to intercept that or block it, and it goes in off his left foot. Now, the question is, was this going in? I still don't know after watching this so many times. Was that going in? 
I just don't know. It might have just gone wide of the post. Either way, Ozil has scored. And that makes it 1-0 away from Fulham in the first half. That's always a good start. Fulham are a good team, by the way. They are. They've got Tarapt on loan, obviously. Uh, they've got Ruiz. They've got Berbatov up front, who, as you know, in this game is going to be pretty decent with his height, his strength, his technique, and his good finishing as well. So being 1-0 up was good for me. We're going to pass this one into Giroud, but on his weak foot, it just doesn't work out so much. That's the only downside to Giroud I can find so far. There's two, really. He's not the most agile. He feels very sluggish. Um, like in other games, but it doesn't seem so noticeable and obviously his right foot isn't very good. Other than that, he looks like he's going to be scoring, I want to say, 20 goals this season in all competitions. That's what I'm hoping for. Now, I've got a question, guys. You can see I've conceded a pretty rubbish goal that I should not be conceding that. Is anyone else having troubles with crosses? I don't know what it is, but I am unable to select the right defender. Um, you'll see in the next few episodes I do concede some more like this. Um, it's... I don't know if it's just because it's a new game and I'm trying to get used to it, but that is not a difficult cross to defend. I've got no idea where Mertesacker, Koscielny and Gibbs were. Um, so let me know in the comments, is it just me? Because I'm finding it very difficult to defend those. Everything else, I feel okay. It's just crosses. They seem to be scoring a lot of crosses against me. And uh, unfortunately, because of that, we do actually drop points away from home at Fulham. So not the best start, but you know, in real life, we lost our first game and won the second game. So actually, we're better off in this season so far. And think of it this way, we're unbeaten. So now we get a transfer offer for Thomas Vermaelen just before the transfer window here, uh, before the, the um, deadline day. I'm not selling Vermaelen. His form isn't great there, as you can see. It's a bit poor. Um, but what's the point in selling him to Spurs, for Christ's sake? And I'm not going to sell him. So Vermaelen will be, you know, my backup centre-back with Bartra. Um, but this is the new transfer deadline day. It doesn't look funny. It looks much more professional. You can see on the right there the latest top deals. Look at that. Lewandowski for almost 30 million to Real Madrid. Um, but we've got some more transfer offers here. The first one for Giroud from Roma. Absolutely no way I'm selling him. But I want to say Roma. That was, a, that was a decent offer of 9 million. That wasn't too bad at all. And good news, guys. Theo Walcott is back from injury. I'll be playing him maybe like, you know, the last... 20 minutes in the next game just to get him back to, to a bit of his original form and recover from that injury he had. Um, but it's good he's back. They can see Thiago Silva has gone to Manchester United and Vidal, out of all players, has gone to Atletico, which is, I don't think that's very realistic at all, isn't it? And neither is Thiago Silva to Man United, let's be honest. But um, let me know what you think about that. Would Thiago Silva want to play at Man United? I'm sure he wouldn't mind playing there. It's just I don't think they'd be bringing him in, that's for sure. Um, but that was the end of the window, guys. That was it. And we move into a cup game. This is a League Cup game against Wimbledon. And as I said before, I will be playing some of my youth players. Um, I'm not going to put up a full youth squad unless pretty much my first team is knackered. But what you're going to see here is an example of squad depth just from making three signings. Look at this. Right, so we've got Jenkinson as right back. We've got Vermaelen. We've got Bartra going to come in here. We're going to switch these two around because Vermaelen is almost a left back sometimes. Monreal, Mikel Arteta. We're going to put Flamini and switch those guys around. We're going to bring on Miechi, who isn't too bad, I tell you what. Then we're going to play Podolski on the left. I had a little look around here thinking, well, who could I play here? But I do actually settle for Podolski. Gives me even more chance of uh, getting his form back up and scoring many goals against Wimbledon. And then we're going to have Cazorla and Yilmaz. Look at that team. That is almost as good as my first team. We have got squad depth, guys. And I'll tell you what, if Arsene Wenger brings in some players in January, like I have done, obviously I've done it a bit earlier, we're in for a good season, I think. But anyway, here we go. Podolski picks up the ball. And that is one of the new shot animations on the outside of his foot. I think it's one of the new ones. I can't remember if that is actually in 13 or not. Let me know. But look at the accuracy on this. This is why Podolski is on. He, he will bring the team goals. There's no doubt about it. We're going to cross this one in with Miechi here. He's making his debut this season as well. Um, not his complete debut, but you know what I mean. And then uh, Kazola gets the rebound from the from the header there and chips it. It's a, it's a really nice finesse shot, and I wanted to show you the replay because this in FIFA 13 I don't think would have been anywhere near as accurate. So it's good to see that those kind of shots are actually working now. And then the second corner in a row, and Van Marlen scores the header. So that's why I'm keeping him. He is a good player. Don't get me wrong. He will be. He will get back in form in real life as well. I'm hoping. But look at the way we split the defence apart here. Wimbledon just cannot cope. And look at the poor touch from Miechi. He almost misses it. It would have been the miss of the season. But he has actually gone and, uh, and scored the goal in the bottom left corner. You'll see the first touch was just very heavy. He was running at full sprint speed. And as you know, he's very quick and quite tall as well. And uh, he just about gets that in. So that was a little bit nerve-wracking. I thought, no, you cannot miss this. 
And then uh, he picks up the ball here, and he was, without doubt, man of the match in this match. He finds a lovely pass out there to Podolski. He's going to smash it onto the post. And look at the run the HU makes. And he's able to finish that up for his second of the game. That's really, really nice from the HU there. Definitely a future player of mine. I think by the third season, when he's around the 80 mark, hopefully, he'll be in the first team much more. Because he does look like a good player. He looks like the ultimate winger on FIFA 14. You know, a bit of height, a bit of strength, and very pacey. But that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is a good result in the League Cup. We go, we do ahead, uh, go ahead and progress. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, little mention first before I go. I realise I haven't actually put Arsenal in the Champions League. I know, I know. It was such a, you know, face palm moment. So um, what I'm going to do, guys, is because actually as I'm recording this, I'm kind of quite far in. Um, so I'm unable to actually just restart. It, would, it wouldn't make sense after putting the hours of time playing it. So this first season is just going to be about getting to that top three, top four mark. Uh, maybe winning the League Cup, the FA Cup. We'll see how that gets on. And then next season we have the Champions League to look forward to. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do apologise for not putting the Champions League in. I do get a bit too excited and forget things. Um, but I'll see you tomorrow for another episode.